I love how quick and easy it is to access the tour. Um, I can do it all from my mobile and it really doesn't take long at all. So I found it really easy to sort of make it part of my morning routine. Um, and that's something I really appreciate, especially as a mum with young children. Um, and I've gotten a lot out of it. I'm really enjoying the tour. It's been in really manageable sections, which have made it really easy to keep up with. Um, what's been really unique is the chance to be able to ask questions and have those questions answered. Um, I'm learning so much and it's been really great to also feel that we're doing something that other church family members are doing and just you feel connected to the wider church. Just want to let you know that I really enjoyed doing the tour this year. Uh, it's been good that to be reminded of the stories in the Bible that we all know but it's so good to be reminded again of what's happening in them and it sort of guides us in our everyday life as well. And then secondly, it has been really good to know that the church, that we have done it as a church and we've been praying about the same things and thinking about the same things. I feel it has united us. We found the tour really helpful. We were a bit nervous at first because we weren't quite sure what we were in, what we were in for, but we took it in chunks, in two or three days at a time. And we found that helped us to understand it better, to look at the continuity, look at the history of what was behind it and the real meaning of each of all the passages. And we're really pleased we have and we're looking forward to more. I think it's really good, the tour, because it gives you a wider perspective as a whole church on, uh, on scripture compared to what you get from a preacher on a Sunday morning, which sometimes is only a tiny slice. Just like those people you've been listening to, many of you have been enjoying our tour of the Old Testament, which we've been running since February. Uh, you've enjoyed the daily readings and hopefully benefited from those and the resources we've been putting out. In turn, we've been enjoying the feedback and questions, haven't we, John? Yeah, yeah, and we've had some really quite challenging questions, questions that have really got us scratching our heads. There hasn't been one easy question. No, not at all. all. We've been digging really deep into the Old Testament. And along with that, we've gone through many of those well-known passages from Genesis right the way through to the latter prophets of the Old Testament. But what is next, Chris? Next, we move on to the New Testament. In fact, in September, mid-September, we begin the tour, Matthew to Revelation. And on this tour, we'll be covering all the passages of the New Testament, the famous events, the famous stories, the big characters uh, in a page a day, as we've done up to now. You'll get from us, in fact, three things. You'll get a daily reading, a devotional, mm. You'll get um, resources and links to outside videos and, and uh, explainers. And thirdly, you will once again get the question, get the opportunity to ask questions. But when we talk about the New Testament, Jonathan, what can people look forward to? Well, some of the things in the New Testament will be very familiar. We will start off in the Gospels. You'll get some of those famous Christmas readings that we perhaps hear year on year. We'll then work through the life of Jesus. We'll hear about Jesus's teaching, his miracles, his ministry. We'll get to the, the, the pain and agony of crucifixion, the delight of resurrection, yeah. the ascension, the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, the growth of the early church. Yeah. We'll then dip into some of the letters from Paul, from John, from Peter, yeah. as those early apostles started to teach about Jesus. Yes. And then we'll end up in the book of Revelation, the language which can seem really alien yeah, to us. Confusing place. Confusing place. But shows us in the end that Jesus is yes. victorious yeah. and that we can look forward to life right. with him forever. So if you've been on our Old Testament tour, you watch this space and you'll get an invitation to join the tour of Matthew to Revelation. In case you haven't been on our Old Testament tour, or if perhaps some people have perhaps dropped off, or perhaps it was a bit unfamiliar, join us on this tour as we go into much more familiar territory together as a church. It's going to be great and we look forward to seeing you. All you have to do is email us at thetour at limbaptistchurch.com. And see, see you on, on the tour. tour.